Uh, everybody in Jane's room, can you please unmute? Thank you. Ah, can everyone hear me? Yes. This is Douglas. How are you? Hello, Douglas. Sorry for the delay. Um, the the question about coming holographically. Yes, there are, there are four of us who can come holographically from the Earth, but we are not part of Union Colony, and we've been coming holographically for many years, at least two or three. Well, it's more like three. So we know that what it is like to come here, and also we come sight to sight as well. But um, they they tested the holographic portion on us, and it worked very well. And so we're not sure why it doesn't work for the other people of Human Colony, but it do, there does seem to be something wrong, of course, and we do not know what that is yet. But for us, it's... It's perfectly fine. We've been, we've been able to do it. Perhaps uh, because we are not part of Human Colony, that has been a question that has been uh, asked several times and looked into. But so far, nothing has been found. I can tell you that the colonies are in good shape. Uh, while we are working on the holographic, there is, they've done some improvements to different areas of the colonies, and so it is a, a time for the scientists to work and those that are analyzing the situation, and also time for the service people to work as well. So we are, are actually doing a little bit of an overhaul on the actual site. So, um, Douglas. While, while uh, we are having some difficulties, we're working on making the site a little bit more uh, uh, better. Uh, well, what is the word? Accommodating, yes. Douglas, Douglas. This is Brian. How, Hi, how Brian. Are you? How are you? Great. Uh, my question was, you said even though you're outside of human colony and you've been doing this for years, what was it? Were you chosen and by who Well, and how? It, how that process? Did you, your body have to get used to that? Yes, actually it did. Because, um, you see, we came site to site, and then we had to be uh, put on a an outfit to go into the fourth dimension until they figured out how to put us into the fourth dimension without it. And still we need a breathing apparatus, because fourth dimension uh, doesn't have the oxygen that the third dimension has. So all we use now is a breathing apparatus when we go into the fourth dimension. But yes, we were chosen. We... we um, they visited us and asked us some questions. We did some interviews. There was about 600 people interviewed, and they selected four of us. This wasn't from the governments of the Earth, was it? Oh, no, no, no. This is before that they were involved. Ah, this is before okay. the involvement of governments in all this. When they found out what was happening with the different things in a human colony, then they became interested in controlling what was happening and so in good faith those people from uh, the Alliance said yes this is a good opportunity to build friendship to build a, a relationships and things of that matter but it seems that they are manipulating the relationship to their benefit constantly but that that is the way human pol politics works anyway but in good faith at this point, they are still working with the human uh, politics and governments in a way that is very friendly and is very beneficial. And, and Douglas, have, the, last, the yeah. last thing I wanted to ask real quick was at the beginning stages, because that's yes. where many of us are for that, that holographic, you know, to do this. Yes. Um, what was it like? What was your feelings like? Even though you were chosen, what was the atmosphere like? What did you have to when you did you feel oh. them come to you? And where was your mental state? Oh, my mental state was very excited, but also a, a bit of fear because I knew that we'd be encountering species that might not look pretty to us, might not look beautiful, might not look uh, like friendly. There's the word. Um, they didn't. So they we were very much. Uh, told what to expect, as you are told what to expect when you come uh, uh, in the astral 
projection. You're told what you'll see and what you'll feel. However, when you come in the astral, you don't see things exactly the way you would if you came physically or holographically. So you don't see things. The perception is a little different. And so you see things. When you come from sight to sight, you see things exactly how they are. And that can be much more frightening than coming in the astral because you're not really very, you feel a little safer not being very dense, very, very light, and knowing that you're not real, that they can't reach out and touch you. But um, you can touch them in certain ways, of course, and they can touch you in certain ways, but it is not physical. But when you're physical and you run into these beings, it can be a quite a different story. It's a quite a different feeling. So... Um, but anyway, no, we were told exactly what to expect. We were told everything about the colonies. We learned, uh, we were given diagrams. They were told what they would like us to do. We were told of immense amount of information before we even left. That, so, that was, um, was your interaction, were you hybridized? Would that, did that make the trip easier for a certain no, DNA? No, we're not hybridized, not at all. Any hybridization that was in us was... Uh, already there. We did not accept any hybridization. They did not have a hybridization program actually installed yet. It was at the beginning stages, but it wasn't completed yet. So they you're talked about it. It was yeah. it was talked about. They had pros and cons within the the uh, alien communities about that and or the off world community, whatever community you want to call it. But they did have their they did come and, you know, express to us, do you think that this would be acceptable? Uh, what do you think of it? We were included in a lot of the decisions. In fact, they invited the four of us to one of their council meetings, and we did go, and it was very interesting because um, you, everyone spoke a different language, so we had to have it translated for us. It was very interesting. So... Um, but we did decide that uh, doing a hybridization program would be a, a, an important part. And we, so, and we know where they're coming from. We know their intentions. So it is not something to be feared, really. It, it's all for the uh, positive yeah. benefit of the uh, gallery. Yes. Are you still there? Oh. I think he... Douglas? If he dropped out. Did he drop? Yeah, I believe he did drop. I still see his icon, but no voice. Oh, no. Well, keep the space, everyone. <laughs> yeah, I was, I, was, I was curious about behind the scenes. Yeah. Like how they chose him and why and how is it, like, you know, if he had a certain DNA sequence, he made right. it easier for the transfer, you know, how to go up and... Is it really yeah, because that's true. Yeah, you were just getting going, weren't you there, interviewer? <laughs> yeah, that's a great question. So I understand what we're going well, yeah, I never thought about that. It's really. wonderful, Brian. You need to do an interview with that. Like how, did they, how did they get chosen? How did who who that's decided? Yeah, how did, who decided how those four? You know. Yeah, those four and why? And why? Yeah, well, yeah, it, exactly. What you know, it makes it easier for their for the trans site to site, you know, all that other stuff. Or maybe it's just like the rest of us. Maybe it's just intention. Yeah. Like I, something yeah. that interests yeah. you, yeah. and so they that know exciting. that, and you know. And it brings them down. Yeah. Yeah. True to it. Was Doug physically there? No, he, he just Is left. He physically on the colonies as a human? Yes. Yes. Both. Yeah. In yeah the Michelle, beginning. go ahead and join with your opinion. I know we've talked to him before, I just can't remember, like, kind of the semantics of where. Yeah. And... It was astral, and he went site to site. Yep. Yeah, Michelle says they didn't get chosen, they chose is what she heard. Oh, That's what okay. I, and this okay. is what I heard too was, is they chose. That's what I heard too. Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, is our time up anyway? Do we need to... Well, let's see if um, see if Jake can get back in, then we can at least say goodbye to them on that side, and if he can't, then, yeah, we'll we'll just... Um, yeah, because it's getting close to your... Uh, their blessings and... Start of your um, uh, hangout, too. Yes, yeah, it's um, 12.06 Eastern Standard Time. 
Okay, so he's about time. Yeah, because he's going to want to break soon anyway, because I think yes. Max wanted to start at... Um... He's taking his nap, though. Oh, so that's probably true. Wait a half minute. Okay. We'll probably wait a half minute. We're down to about 25 minutes yeah, before yours yeah. starts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So should we just go ahead and do the blessings for everyone who wants to speak today? Yeah, I guess we can start to do that, and then if Jim does come back in, we can Some say goodbye. Some blessings would be awesome, guys. Um, yeah. So yeah, whoever um, whoever would like to go, um, Brian and I will just go last. So whoever wants to go, go ahead and go. Um, did you want to go first, Sarah? Okay, I can do the honors. Okay, <laughs> wonderful. T C K U S H I T A K A S U N I K I A S U A T A Y A S U K A T A L A N I Y A Y A いさにきやとこしゃ Namaste, Ashukwe Tiasa. I think I heard something about many happy faces or something. I kept hearing something about many smiling faces. Is Jim there, Douglas? Oh, is he back? Okay, go ahead. Douglas, are you back? We can't hear him. Are you there? Yeah, okay. we can't hear you guys. They're not muted, are they? Uh -oh. okay. I love that, Michelle. <laughs> shiny, happy people holding hands. Yes, we are. Shiny, happy people holding hands. <laughs> I love that. That's cool. Well, darn it. Aww. We're not going to get in back. You want to try to come back out, out maybe and back he can in? hear the blessings? I wasn't sure if Mark wanted to try to come back out and in again to see if Jim could say goodbye. Thank you, Doug Douglas, if you can hear this. Thank you for your yes. time, time, my friend. Yes, thank you, Douglas. Much love. They can hear us. So I don't know if he want. Yeah, should we? Does some? Should we just go ahead and close? Yeah, yeah, does somebody else want? Does somebody else want to go? Um, does somebody else like to do a blessing? We'll just wrap it up, Mark, with the blessings. Okay. Well, thank you very much for joining. Make sure to join afterward here in about uh, 25 minutes with uh, the three channeling together. It's going to be a wonderful, fun, awesome time. So make sure we don't even know it. what we're doing. So we're just going to wait. <laughs> it's going to be fun no matter what they do. <laughs> Guarantee. Okay, we'll see Is you later. Anyone else that would like to say anything um, before we close out today? Any blessings? Okay. Uh, why don't you two go ahead? Okay, Brian. I'm going to let Jim come back. Oh. oh, we can hear you. Okay, we can hear you now. Great. Oh. Hi, Douglas. Thank you for coming. Thank Oh, we lost him again. It's something with the mic. It's, yeah. We oh. lost sound again, yes. Yeah. I think it's his mic, it's maybe. the mic. It might be plugged in. Is it plugged in on the oh, side? The connection. The, plug. the connection. On his mic. On the mic. Around his neck, I wonder if it can hear. There, I can, we can hear you now. Okay, I just switched to a different mic, which I tried before. Okay. Okay, now I can hear you. We can hear you now. Thank you so much. Very well. I will let Jim come back at this time, and you can do your blessings. Okay, Douglas, is there anything else? you Would you like to give us a blessing today? I'm not very good at that. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> Much love, Douglas, to those on the colony. Thank you. Yes, please send our well. love. 
have a wonderful day. I can say bless you very well, but I'm not good at giving the blessings, no. Well, thank you for coming today. Namaste. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Thank you. Namaste. And you. We love you, Douglas. Bye-bye. Okay. Go ahead. Watch this.